About two years ago, I set out to make a machine that made me breakfast in the morning. And then a very kind man gave me these robots for free. Is using, okay. The first design was actually supposed to be this big, like gant gantry system that, <laughs> bro, can you hold the mic properly? <laughs> Thanks. It'll be this, this three meter long gantry system that has a gripper that goes down It was supposed to be this huge gantry system that's about three meters long that holds the fridge and all the kitchen appliances. So here you can see the gantry system and then this was supposed to be the gripper and this is a smudge of food. But with these robots not taking its job, I now had a giant gantry system that was useless and I had to be broke. I'm trying, could you move up? Now at the same time I have a project with the Mirabot where it builds wall frames of a house with their software I built. And the gantry system with out of purpose at this point and the Mirabot needing a little help, I thought it'd be best to combine both the projects together. Can you please move the mic where I'm thinking? Combine the projects together to make one great one. I wanted this part of the build to stand out a little bit. I want to give a huge thank you to my work who got a very important part machined for the gantry system, the x-axis carriage frame, on the Haas V F4, which I can say I'm very jealous of since anytime I need something machined I have to do it on the manual mill, which isn't quite as convenient or fun to watch. years later. In the meantime, I got caught up in these other projects that were just a little bit more interesting and I had the motivation to work on. These are videos you already seen, except there's some that you have not seen yet. Let me explain what the Mirabot was supposed to do. Ultimately, it's going to take sticks off of the infeed conveyor, glue the sides that are going to come in contact with existing pieces on the canvas, place all the sticks on the canvas, once the glue is dried, 
It will then take the whole wall frame and then put it on the outfeed conveyor. It's basically going to make a bunch of these wall frames that you could put together to make a small house. But then as the project evolved and I wanted to get the gantry system involved, the gantry is going to be feeding the infeed conveyor with the sticks and also taking the completed wall frame and then putting it on the outfeed conveyor. Now I chose to go with glue for the type of adhesion because the Mirabot just wasn't going to be able to pick up a nail gun which is what is typically used. Then I found this fast drying wood glue that sticks really well to the wood. So I built some of these glue extruders that will push the super glue out of the syringe into this tiny needle that will then get extruded onto the side of the piece as it is ran in front of the needle. Only as I was testing, I came across some issues with the Mirabot. So because of the scale of the Mirabot, it doesn't include any sort of homing or positioning sensor for the sixth axis. And this axis is very crucial for getting long parts to line up perfectly with the glue needle. If this is off by just a little bit, by the time you get to the end of a 200 millimeter part, you're going to be up to five to 10 millimeters away and the glue extruder is not gonna do anything. To get around this, I put the glue extruder on a rail so that the robot can push into the glue needle further so that by the time the stick is at the start or the end and it's too far or too close away, it doesn't matter because it'll comply for this with the rubber band. So mechanically, the glue extruder actually worked pretty well at getting the glue on the stick, although the only limitation here was that the sticks do not always sit perfectly flat against the other, and if they don't, then there's not enough surface area for the glue to actually stick the two together. With that reason and the glue being so messy as it is, I figured it's a good idea to get rid of the glue extruder entirely. Now let's back up. How did the robot know exactly where to pick up the stick, what spot on the stick needed glue, and then where to put it on the canvas? Well, that's why I made this software, because writing all this cheat code by hand would take an eternity. So all the software does is take in some setting parameters. You can zero it off the canvas and where to pick up the sticks. And you can also add sticks in certain positions and orientations until you have the wall frame that you want, add your material thickness, and you can simply just generate a g-code file and since the order of which you feed the different length sticks is important you can also generate a text file that generates the order of the sticks you need to feed the robot in order for it to assemble it from the bottom right corner to the upper left now there was a lot of logic and programming that went behind the program looking at all of the stick placements and then finding which stick needed to put the glue on and in what spot. And that's what all this code does, but I'll spare explaining it to you because it would take just way too long. But this whole program will be on my GitHub in the description if you want to take a closer look at it. Instead of using the glue extruder, I decided to use double-sided thermal tape because it's a lot thicker and it is very aggressive, which gives me a lot of play on the placement of the sticks. I've also been using electrical tape for the points where the suction cups need to grip the sticks because it's a much smoother surface and it gets a lot more reliable adhesion. And I've also put electrical tape on the points where the double-sided tape attached to. Just because if I don't do this, the double-sided tape will collect a bunch of wood chips off of sticking off of the bare wood that I would have to replace the tape every other run, and I didn't think this was as important as just completing the project as a whole. Also, a special thank you to Wolkata for sending me the 7th Axis for free. They saw what I was doing and I was very limited by the travel room that they decided to help me out by sending me the 7th Axis so I can complete the project.
understand. Let's look at the compare. Uh -huh.